Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, I want to share a little craft project with you that I decided to try out. Now, the idea for this craft project is not mine. I saw it talked about on Reddit, and I'll include a link in the description to everything hopefully you need to do this, because I haven't tried this yet, and also the Reddit post that provided the inspiration as well. Now, what I want to do is I want to make some little bottle cap magnets out of magic cards. And so I picked up some magic cards. I, I grabbed some magic cards that are kind of, you know, well, they're about to be maimed and mangled. And so what I think all I need, or all you need, is these little bottle cap things that have stickers on them. And I got some mag. I got a sheet of round magnets that have stick that have adhesive on the back of them, and I got a foam foam. Well, it says foam maker, but this should just be a. It should punch circles. Basically, is what I want. Punch shape you punch shape you like, which makes me think this is not necessarily the back. Isn't written by native English speaker. Effortless and use. Friendly. Eh, anyway, doesn't matter. As long as it works. Alright. And I'll include links to all this stuff in the description if you want to check it out. So, this should be a whole, a, a circular whole bunch. You know, I don't know how well I'm going to do at hitting my targets with this, but we can give it a shot. So, what I want to do is I want to punch a hole and then we'll stick it to one of these. And then after that, we'll stick a magnet on the back of it. At least that's the plan. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to use some kind of adhesive or tape. But we'll see. Alright, so let's see what we got. We got these things. Huh. They have a smell to them. I know that's weird, I'm not smelling that, but whatever. Alright, so I'm guessing you peel these things off and Oh, they are adhesive. Okay. Well I've messed up this one with my gloves. But so they're adhesive. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick it what you let's see if the magnets are the right size. Are the magnets the right size? They are very close to it. Alright, so I'm gonna toss this one as I have ruined it with my gloves. Um, let's try punching out a let's try punching out a magic symbol. A mana symbol. Let's try for a forest. Okay. Now I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but let me see if I can show it. And when you squeeze this, the cutter comes down like that. And so what you're gonna do is you gotta figure out the right positioning for the mana symbol. I'm probably going to miss this. Hmm. Well, let's try one and just see. See how close we get. Because I want to make a man. I want to make a mana symbol one. So, squeeze. Pops it out. Huh. That might have been just about perfect. So, this thing slides out and we get our not centered mana symbol. Alright, well, I don't really care because this is going to be my guinea pig, my test. The hole punch worked cool. So now what we got to do is we got to attach it to one of these things. And so the way we do this is like so. Okay. Huh. Well, that's kind of neat. So you got that. And seems to be adhesive ish. Is that adhesive? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, next step get one of these magnets. And can't go wrong with the sheet of magnets. Now 
Maybe you can go right with the sheet of magnets? Alright. Sheet of magnets. Now, although I am doing these with magic cards, if this works, you can pretty much do them with whatever you want. And once again, I might have ever done the, the unwrapping part of this. Alright, so blah blah blah, safety instructions. Carefully remove the desired number of magnets. And blah blah blah. Alright, bunch of words. Don't care. Although, these are popping out. Okay. So I removed a magnet. Are there 80 of these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or, yes, that's 80. Okay. So, I'm guessing you remove the little sticker, the little cover on the back, and you stick it to the back of this, like so. wondering about the adhesiveness of the magic card sticking to the little bottle cap thing. Hmm. Alright, well, let's grab something metal and test it. So... That's not so bad. I think one thing I would definitely do is I would definitely look for maybe these don't look like these don't seem like very strong magnets. They're they're like the cheap magnets. Hmm. Kind of neat looking. I mean, for my first attempt with zero like prep at all. Let's try another one. We'll try another one and see how it works out. And I have an idea. Let's see how I can, let's see how we can do this. Alright, so I know I know I wanna I know I'm off by about that much. So if I shave about that much off the bottom of a card like so. Let's see how close I got. So if I shave off about that much, maybe a teeny bit more. Alright, just a teeny bit more. So what I want to do is I want to try and have it so the tree is relatively centered. The green mana symbol is relatively centered in the thing. And I don't want any of the bottom to show up. So let's see. Like that. Okay. So now all I gotta do is line it up and punch it. And actually, that's super helpful. I didn't notice it until just now. But if I wanted to, I could slide this thing up here. Heh! <laughs> that makes things much easier, doesn't it? Alright, so let's see. Let's slide this up and we'll. Squeeze it down a little bit, make sure it's all lined up nice, like so, and then we'll punch it out. Ha! Okay. By the way, that makes things much easier being able to see it. I guess, you know. This is a, I mean, I'm, if you can't tell, I'm learning as I go. So, anyway. So, we got a not quite so punched tree. Hmm. Still not exactly what I wanted. There's still that top part now. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what we got land wise. Well, let's see what we can do about an island. So, for the island. Okay, I gotta cut some off the bottom. 
I can actually cut as much as I want off now, since I'm going to be eyeballing it. Okay, so it's going to be tough to get it exactly perfect. I think that the problem is, is like the mana symbols are, the mana symbols are, the space for the mana symbol is big, is not as, my my surface area is bigger than the area for them. So, we pop out a island, like so, and so again, it's not perfect, but it's interesting. And like I said, you aren't limited to doing just magic stuff with this. You can do pretty much whatever you want. And the supplies for this are dirt cheap. I think it's like 20 bucks worth of stuff, including the magnets and the, the little epoxy things. Although, I'm still wondering about the epoxy things, these things, and how well the, the mana symbols are going to stay stuck. Like, but you can line it up pretty easily. Line it up like so. Squish it down in there. Do the forest too. While we're at it. And I can also tell you that if you're tackling this without gloves, it's probably a little bit easier. So, got another forest. You just sort of squish it down. And then we grab a couple more magnets. Uh, grab one magnet. Now, this magnet's coming in stuck already, which kind of works well for us. And then you just line it up on the back, like so, and squish this down. And we'll try the next magnet. Ah, oh, crap. Well, we'll see if my gloves wrecked this magnet or not. See if it still has enough stickiness to adhere to the back of this one. Alright. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. It's not exactly perfect. I'm not thrilled about the little bit right there, and the little bit right there, and that right there. Maybe... Okay, let's try one more. And then I'll... I'll stop. And... But y'all get the general idea. Let's try a swamp. So let's say that I want to... Let's say that I, I want to have a little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom. Maybe that'll make it look better. So we'll snip off that. And then we slide it in here. If we slide it in where we get an equal amount of the top and the bottom, like that. Can y'all see that okay? You get it like that, so there's a teeny bit of the bottom and a teeny bit of the top. That might make it look a little better. It'll at least make it look even. And then I lost my epoxy things. And then what we do is we grab one of these off the sheet. We stick a mana symbol to it. And then we stick a magnet on. By the way, I don't know if y'all have noticed or not, but this is actually pretty quick to do for once you figure out what you want to do with it. And so we stick this on, like so. Actually, that looks pretty good. You can still see a little bit of the bottom, and you can still see a little bit of the top, but not too bad. It's off-center as well. So, I mean, these are going to be trial and error, but that's kind of neat. Anyway, what do you think? A fun craft project? You're not at all limited to just magic cards, but magic cards are kind of a fun thing to do if you want to do like, like I'm doing like mana symbols or if you wanted to do a monster face I grabbed this one because I thought it'd be cool to do the monster face so anyway there's a lot of 
you know, junk common cards and basic lands you can use. It has really neat art on it. Anyway, if you have any other ideas or suggestions on how to improve this process or any other neat craft projects, let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer what I can. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope y'all have an excellent day.